Good morning and welcome to this short episode about buying a camera. I want to talk to you about five camera functions that are essential for me when buying a new camera. Let me explain to you. There are tons of features that manufacturers give you, but which one do you really care about? Which one are hidden in cameras that you should be paying attention to? Well, those are my five most important ones. So let's start with the first one. It's going to be custom mode. Custom modes allow you to set parameters and save them as modes and go back to them very quickly. I use them a lot in order, for example, to set certain scenes and then just instantly go back to it by dialing the wheel back and forth. For example, I can go from aperture priority mode, great for daytime street photography and quickly move into a special low light or nighttime setting. It's very efficient for me in order to save time when I'm on the field. Now, the second function that is super important for me is to be able to set the ISO range of the camera. Meaning you can tell your camera, do not go below, for example, ISO 300, but really I would say ISO 100 and maximum do not go above. And that's the most important one. Do not go above ISO 3200 or ISO 12800 or whatever is possible. And that still looks good. Setting that range prevents you from having noisy images that you didn't want to, especially when you're in aperture priority or in any kind of auto mode or ISO auto mode. And if I had to add to that, there is one that's called minimum shutter speed. We talked about it already. It allows you to set the minimum shutter speed under which your camera should not shoot when you're on aperture priority. It is essential, but it's usually when you have the ISO set range, you can also set a minimum shutter speed, but check in your manual. It's super important. I use it every single day. Now, the third function I really need is ISO auto in manual mode. That sounds kind of weird because it's manual, but let me tell you, ISO auto in manual is great because then you just set your aperture and your shutter speed and you don't have to worry about the ISO. You just let your camera run through it and since you set a range before, well, you don't have to worry that your shots are going to be terrible. This is a really, really easy way to shoot manual and having to deal with only two parameters instead of three. Again, your goal is to get faster on the field. Now, number four for me is to have a camera, a camera body that can change lenses. There are tons of great cameras with fixed lenses, but whenever I want to work with a camera for professional needs, I usually go for those so that I can adapt different kind of lenses, get different kind of feelings, tell a more compelling story. It's very important unless those are very specific cameras like GoPros or drones, but then we don't need to change the lens. Although a drone with interchangeable lenses at a good price point would be amazing, right? Okay. Now the last one, number five is the dual memory card slot. It is essential if you're doing any kind of professional work or if you're going to locations that are very remote that you will never get back to and you don't want to lose those photos try to save on two memory cards or at least do backup on the fields but really don't try to luck it out i will call it luck it out with memory cards it happens that they fail you don't want to be in that position we talked about it a few times i will talk about it again just to drill it really deep into your skull that please, please, please make backups as soon as you can. So if you don't have two memory cards, it might not be a deal breaker, but do a backup ASAP, maybe every half day or every day or whenever your memory card gets full. But if you can have two memory cards and you want an important shoot, bam, you shoot straight onto two memory cards and you're safe. You don't have to think about it. Now, a last one, a little bonus is to have a camera that feels great in your hand because everyone's hand is different and some cameras have grips that are not adapted. My quick test is to hold the camera with, for example, two fingers here on the grip. And if it holds, if I don't lose it, usually I'm good. When it's dangling along your side, you want to make sure you're not going to lose it and you can pass it on to people easily. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have questions about gear. I'm happy to help you or just ask them in the Facebook group myself or the community will help. Let's continue this adventure.